Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Now last week we started a new series which we're going to do periodically where we try to explain and talk about issues that maybe don't get as much coverage as normal on the regular news. And tonight we're going to go with the real ID controversy. Now you may have heard a little bit about this, but it's actually a fairly simple issue. After 9-11, the Congress passed the Real ID Law after the suggestion of George W. Bush and the 9-11 Commission. The idea behind it was simple. They wanted to make it harder for terrorists to get IDs. On 9-11, a lot of the terrorists that committed that atrocity had IDs from multiple states and they used it to get on the planes, which they were then able to hijack. The 9-11 Commission said the thing that needed to happen was it needed to be a consistent standard for getting IDs across the country. And they made it very simple. To get an ID that satisfies the real ID requirement, you need these things. A birth certificate, a social security card, proof of address, federal scan capability, and importantly, it must be made at the state and not the county level. Now, chances are you're like me. You went and got your driver's license at a county courthouse. Maybe you had to show proof of address, maybe you didn't, but not anymore. The federal real ID would require all of these and it would require the ID to be made at the state level. If a state does not comply, the driver's licenses sent out by that state can't be used for certain federal benefits. For instance, you can't get on an airplane without them. You can't get to a military base and lots of other federal buildings would be off limits if you didn't have a real ID. As you can see, it's a big deal. So in 2016, the Kentucky legislature passed a bill to comply with the act. But ultimately, it was vetoed by Matt Bevin in somewhat of a surprising move. Now at the time, Matt Bevin said the reason he was vetoing it was because the act was confusing and there was a lot of controversy. But I have to tell you, I'm not really sure what the controversy was. 41 of 50 states have already complied and the others are likely in the process of doing it. So Kentucky has the potential to be one of the last states in the country where the driver's license you have can't get you on an airplane. Now people for the real ID say it is crucial for the future in order to stop terrorism. It has the ability to have facial image software. So now when you get your picture taken for a driver's license, they will keep that picture on record. When you scan your license to get on a plane, your face can come up to make sure the license matches the person. It also has record sharing capability. So let's say you have a criminal record or a driver's history in one state, it'll transfer and people can find it in every state. I was surprised, and maybe you would be too, to learn that that's not the case now. But after they become real ID compliant, it would be. Thus, it is actually very important. And finally, it ensures that the holder is an American citizen. As of right now, if you're not an American citizen, so long as you can find a birth certificate and get proof of address, in some states you can get a state ID. No longer on the real ID law. Now, the problem is the Kentucky legislature still does not have a bill to make us compliant. And on January 30th, things will get difficult. Beginning on January 30th, if you have a Kentucky driver's license, you cannot get onto a federal military base. So think about Fort Campbell or Fort Knox. By January 30th, your driver's license won't get you on. You're gonna need a passport or some other form of identification. And if the legislature does not comply by the end of this year, we're not gonna be able to get on airplanes with a Kentucky driver's license. It really doesn't make any sense. Now, Matt Bevin has come out and he released a video in which he said, we're gonna fix this, don't worry. But we've had 11 years to do it. And starting in a couple weeks, for folks that need to get on a military base, problems already start. Now, the legislature says it will begin to pass a bill in February. But a lot of folks around the state say it's going to take longer than a year to get ready. Now, Matt Bevin says he hopes the Trump administration will give a waiver that allows Kentucky extra time, but it's not clear if it's going to happen. So as you wait for the next couple of weeks, see if the legislature, when they come back in session, passes real ID. If they don't, the process next year to get on an airplane could be much more difficult for the citizens of Kentucky than it is for almost anyone else in the nation.